It's only a beginning, always. The young must know it. The old must know it. They must always sustain us. Because the greatness comes not when things go always good for you, but the greatness comes and you're really tested when you take some knocks, some disappointments, when sadness comes. Because only if you've been in the deepest valley can you ever know how magnificent it is to be on the highest mountain. You know, when I went to uh, San Clemente after his resignation, uh, this was right after he had just left office, and you would think, you know, he's in the depths of having lost the highest office of the land, and been financially they'd tried to destroy him. He, he had no income, and um, the, um, they were trying to get back taxes from him. He uh, had an enormous amount of legal fees, uh, he had no basic future in place for him, and um, you would think that he would just be desperate and defeated, but it's quite the opposite. When I sat with him, he was looking forward. One of the things he said to me, this is just like two and a half weeks after he resigned, and I, w I was myself pretty depressed. And he said, you know, don't get down, Ken. You gotta look up, you gotta look forward. And I said, whoa, <laughs> you know, here I am. I was um, uh, not quite 30 years old and, um, and the president uh, had just lost everything that he'd ever worked for in his whole life and gone down the drain. And I had, I had my whole future to look forward to. And he was telling me uh, not to not to look down, but to look forward and look up. And it's because he had that huge resilience in him. And, and I, I'm not sure where he got that. It's uh, he had come back from defeat so many times. He came back from defeat in '60. Came back from defeat in '62. And uh, just by sheer determination and hard work and pushing forward. And, and came back and won in 68 and, and then lost it all again and now he was coming back. And then as you know, by the end of his life and he, he restored his reputation all over again. <laughs>